Do you ever walk past Cinnabon and think, oh, I could go for a Cinnabon right now, but then you think, oh wait, I'm on keto, I can't have it. Well, yes you can with this recipe. Let's get cooking. do is add your almond flour, your baking soda, and your powdered monk fruit sweetener into a separate bowl. Then whisk it all together. Now taking a separate microwavable bowl, you're going to add in three cups of shredded mozzarella, as well as a third of a cup of cubed cream cheese. Then you're going to throw it in the microwave for a minute and then take it out, give it a good stir, and then throw it back in the microwave for another minute, then take it out again, and then stir it again. <laughs> now that you have your melted cheese, you're going to add your eggs directly into the bowl and quickly knead it all through. Now the reason why you want to do it quickly is because if you let it sit on the cheese for too long, it will turn into kind of a scrambled egg kind of consistency, and trust me, that is not gonna taste good. <laughs> so be quick, and also be careful because the cheese will be a bit hot, so careful not to burn your hands. Next, add in your dry ingredients into your bowl and then knead it all through. Next, you're gonna put your dough to the side and let it cool down a bit because it's still a little bit warm. And then you're going to make your filling. So the first thing you wanna do is add your monk fruit sweetener into your bowl, followed by your cinnamon, and then whisk it all together. Before we move on, I just wanna remind you to please like this video. Also comment on this video if you have any future video suggestions for me. And subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. Anyway, let's get back to it. So now it's time to roll out our dough. I've rolled out my dough in a rectangular kind of shape and it's about a half of a centimeter thick. Now I'm going to cut the edges just to make the edges a lot smoother. Then what you wanna do is take those edges that you cut off and put them in a bowl because we will use those later. Now grab your filling and you're gonna sprinkle that on top and kind of smooth it around with your hands to really get the edges. Next, you'll want to cut strips about three centimeters wide and then you're going to roll them up. cinnamon scrolls, it's time to grease our round baking dish. Today I'm using a Pyrex bowl, but it's totally your choice whatever you use. Just make sure it's small enough to be able to have all of the cinnamon scrolls in there nice and snug. You don't want it too big, you don't want it too small, just the perfect size. Throw them in there. The last thing you wanna do is sprinkle on top a little bit of brown monk fruit sweetener. Now if you don't have that, that's totally fine. You don't need it. It just adds a really nice touch to it. Now when you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead and throw them in the oven for about 15 minutes or until the edges are slightly golden brown. Now you really wanna make sure that you don't overcook these because then they kind of get really crumbly and gross. You wanna make sure they're a little bit undercooked so then they stay a little gooey. I've taken my cinnamon scrolls out of the oven and the room smells amazing. But now I need to make some frosting. Cause I mean, what would cinnamon scrolls be without frosting? They would be boring. So let's get into it. The first thing you need is melted salted butter. Next, heat up some cream cheese and throw that into your bowl as well. Then take your whisk and quickly whisk it together. Now it might get a little bit clumpy. Don't worry about that. It'll smooth out, I promise. Now add in your powdered monk fruit sweetener and whisk it all through. And last but not least, add in your vanilla bean paste or your vanilla bean extract. 
Now I do prefer vanilla bean paste in this recipe because it has much more of a vanilla flavor, but if you don't have that, you can use vanilla extract. keto-friendly cinnamon scrolls with the frosting and everything. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please remember to like this video, comment on this video if you have any future video suggestions for me, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see videos just like this one. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. See you later.